is Mahdi. I'm 23 years old. I've been living in Panjshir Valley, this place, for the past seven months. I was born in Sydney, Australia. I lived all around the world. And five, six years ago, we came back to Australia. And the story of how I came to Panjshir is that three years ago, I, I came here with a, with a very dear friend of mine. His name is Sorosh, and his mother has been a very close friend of my mother for years, and she is Mother Mahmouba. And so we came to Afghanistan, and we especially came to this place, to this valley. And this place really, really resonated with me. And I knew I had to come back once my studies were over, and I did just that. And so I've been living here for the past seven months, uh, working in the orphanage, uh, the Hope House, as it's called, the only orphanage in Pineshire Valley, and that's where we're going right now. And I've been doing some other work as well, and some other occupations as well, not related to that. But that's where we're going right now, and I want you to see it. They're mostly asleep as of yet. Chance or less? Afala. Chance or Mishak mother? 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 Chance چهار سال میشه که در پرورش گستی خو اینجا خوش هستی تو اندر بله. پار خانده تیو بله چی میکنین در اینجا تفریح؟ تفریح سامون بازی زالی مال 
خدای جا خوش هستی نه؟ بله دایین دو میخوای چکاره شوی؟ معلم معلم میخوای شوی؟ درسته دکتر میشم که بوی میده شما من سه ساله بودم پدرم وقتی که در یک وظیفه در اردو میخواستند در یک عملیات برند باید ماین کنار جاده برخورد کردم و همانجا بود که پدرم شهید شد و پدرم را آوردم به پیشیر و قریه آبدره میخواستند که گورش کنند من سه ساله بودم و همانجا مادرم مرا به یک بیبی به یک بیبی گک داد و بیبی گک مرا در زیر پل لقات درخت ها رها کرد و رفتند وقتی که مادرم از وقتی که پدرم ما گور کردم مادرم در فکر پولیدن ما شد و ما تا یک روز دو روز گم بودم وقتی که مرا مادرم پیدا کرد و حال در منجا یک چشمه جور شده در او او یک ویژه یک چشمه جور شده و در او هم یا و او جه سرسب شده در اختا است به برکت ما و ما تا یک سال میشه که در پرورشگاه اومدیم و ما خوش هستم به خاطر که با دوستا و رفیقای ما آشنا شدیم و مثل بیادر با اون زند... که از اون زندگی میکنیم درس میخونیم ساتری میکنیم و ما میخوایم در آینده یک جورنالیم شویم تا به خدمت تا به مردم خود خدمت کنیم شروع بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم اسم ما از گلستا اسم بیادرم زیاولا ما 11 ساله هستم بیادرم 14 ما پنج ساله بودم که مادرم وفات که شش سال میشه که در پرواشگاه زندگی میکنیم دیگه ما میخوام داینده دکتر شوم
Simon, mo asten ki mega. Mo asten ki kinish tamen kara. Mo asten ma kinish tamen kara. Bi ala da. اسمم سارا چارده ساله هستم ده ساله بودم که پدرم جنگ شد امرای یک مرد و او را امرای توفنگ زد بعد از او وقتی که پدرم زندانی شد مادر مجبور شد که وظیفه کنه اینجا وقتی که آمد در وظیفه بعد از او مرا در پرورشگاه شامل کرد 
مدت دو سال میشه که در پرورشگاه هستم در پرورشگاه درس های زیادی را می آموزم و زیر دست چون استاد مهدی استاد مجیب استاد نازیلا و غیره تدریس میکنن بر ما درس میتن و ما رو تربیه میکنن من در اینجا خوش هستم چرا که دوستای زیادی پیدا کردم تا اینجا آمدم در زمستان اینجا ما برف جنگی میکنیم و در تابستان هم ساتیری میکنیم و میخوایم داینده قاضی شم خواست آخر مالی هست اینجا در قسمت لیاو این قسمت از این برای فنشو غیر فعال هست بینید قسمت بنام پیش برای که اینجا رو پاکشه نشه کرده که این کنید میکنید از این کنید اینجا کار نمیکنید اینجا کار نمیکنید چند ساله بودی که پدر تو وفات کرد؟ شش شش ساله بودی که وفات کرد چند سال میشه که در پرورش بستی؟ یک یک سال میشه که در پرورش بستی کی جا شاملت کرد؟ مادر مادر شاملت کرد خب در پرورش گو خوش هستی؟ چرا خوش هستی؟ موسیقی دولت میشی؟ خب مدیر هم در دولت کار میکنه وقتی مدیر شدی دولت هم میتونی که پیش رفت بکنی خب مدیر که شدی با چی میکنی؟ سخت بلند دیگه دیگه درس میدی؟ درس میدم خب معلوم میدون درس میدم خب معلوم میشی که درس بدی؟
você para dar um dia que não me mata pancher as vezes me as é que as vezes um me é pás cobol a cobol vou da cobol é que me cona mudar um dia pancher pancher me é pancher me é para dar um pás me é cobol cobol que me é chan rosbo de si que tu abia é tam sarai chamoli e agro para dar um salé calvi me cona vou salé calvi que me cona साले काल्बी कुमे कुमा साले काल्बी में कौन में मरवो खुदा बस बस بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم من هم شعر آماده کردم در وسط مادر که از طرف تمام شاگردان پرورشگاه حضرت محمد تقدیم میکنم به مادر محبوبه عزیزم تو اقیانوس مهری مادر من تو خورشید سپهری مادر من نجیب کوه صبری ای فرشته تو ای محبوبه از خود گذشته پریشان حال تو هرگز نبینم درخشان روی ما حد نازنینم گلی هستی ز گلزار الهی تو ای مادر برایم جان پناهی به شبهای سیه فانوس روشن تو ای مادر برایم دشت گلشن هوای گرم شبهایم تو هستی بلور سرد تبهایم تو هستی توی زیبا ترین الماس دنیا چرا مادر شدی سلطان غمها نیابم واجهی در مدح نامت الهی مادرم باشی سلامت وجودت مادری من امتیاز است دعایت ای فرشته کار ساز است جوانی را به پایم پیر کردی مرا با عشق چشمت سیر کردی توی سیاره مهر و محبت توی سرلوحه راه سعادت تو کوه استواری مهربانی محبت را چو بحر بیکرانی I remember uh, this old story that my grandmother told me a few years ago. I found this, uh, this little uh, photo of, of uh, maybe six or five year old girl um, in, in an old uh, family album. And I took that photo to my mother, that picture, and I asked her who that little girl was because it was instantly captivating when I saw it. She had big eyes and short hair and, and looking up and an innocent expression. And my mom said, you should ask your grandmother about it. And so when I talked to my grandmother on the phone, she told me that the little girl, her name was uh, Sima. And, and that she, she was a relative of ours. And that in the time of the Russians, she was very active against the government. And so they were after her. And they, they did come after her. And the family found out. And so they decided to get her out of the country to smuggle her out. And this was just, she, Sima was 17 or 18 years old back then. And my grandmother tells the story of how they were all in, in that room that last night when uh, Sima was with them all. The next day she was smuggled out. Um, but my grandmother tells me the story and my mother and her siblings were little boys and girls in the room as well. She, she vaguely remembers the scene as well. And this is a scene, a story, 
in an act that I think very much relates to the condition of the orphans in the Hope House and that's why I'm telling this story. So they were all in that room and the radio was on and they were all sitting around the radio and it was blasting horrible, terrible news about that person being captured, that person being killed, government advances, government troop advances and so on. And suddenly the radio stopped and everybody sank into this deathly silence and was dejected and their heads were down and there was, there was just a terrible atmosphere in the room. And in the midst of that, and that girl, Sima, was sitting there as well. Remember, a 17-year-old at this point. And she was sitting there as well. And, she, and her whole life was crumbling before her eyes. Everything that she ever knew or loved, her country, her family, her friends, everything was crumbling. And she was going to be taken and smuggled out to some other country at this young age. And so, so you can imagine how she would feel and so everybody sank into that silence and the radio stopped and all of a sudden this girl gets up and she 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 jumps to the middle of the room and she starts to dance to no music at all she just starts to dance and my grandmother says that everybody looked at her like dazed and, and confused what is she doing she's What's, what's this craziness? And she just danced to no music and that girl just danced. And for some reason that story has stayed with me ever since I heard it and it always uh, gets to me when I, when I remember it or when I tell it again. Because in my mind, I interpreted her dance as that she was so sad and, and so pained that she had so much pent up feeling inside of her that she wanted to get it out. She didn't want to cry. She didn't want to despair. So she got it out through dance. She got up and she danced. Joy in the midst of sorrow. I feel like that's what the orphans of the Hope House also represent. Tragic stories heartbreaking stories but they are very strong and, and happy and resilient and that night Sima she danced to no music but in the Hope House we've got a little bit of music